Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Liverpool up against Ajax. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents are well organised, resilient and pose a threat on the counter-attack. Therefore, an early goal will be the main priority for the home team. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Jordan Henderson starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the starting 11 for Ajax. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Dangerous ball, and the problem not completely solved. Firing it towards goal, and caught by the keeper. Really good high press. And a good-looking ball, and thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Now sending it in, defended well. Can they put it away? Unable to make the mark with that cross. Well, so close to getting that early goal there, but it was a wonderful save by the keeper, you have to say. Won it back. Oh, that's an interesting pass. But he drifted into an offside position. Well, he just thought about the pass for a fraction too long, and that's why it's offside. Explosive attacking qualities can be so important. Look no further than Mo Salah. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He glides past defenders. He's got that ability to run with the ball into open space. He can pick out a pass. He can wriggle out of tight situations. He's the most creative player on the field today. Good work from Ajax to win back possession. What can Ajax do from this position? Blint. Grafenberg. Tadic. Excellent passing. Can he put them in front? Well, he failed to get it away properly. Mazraoui. Promising possession, this. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. 
Diogo Jota. And he's broken free. Surely. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. It is to be a throw-in. An example of how to press. Applying vigorous pressure. An attack full of promise. Can he play it in? Well, still an issue here. And I think the threat has been averted. And the flag has gone up. Well, he has to work a lot harder to stay onside there. He didn't read the situation at all. Fabinho. Liverpool have given it away. Allaire. Now with Allaire. It's with Berghaus. Edson Alvarez. Space and time for the cross. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. And using his body to good effect. Well, Liverpool haven't dominated possession, as you can see, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. And he saw the situation developing. Aller. Aller. And narrowly wide. Just seemed to snatch at that one. And well, they're trying to get right into his face. How about the cross? Not all that convincing defensively. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. Who can he pick out? Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Couldn't hang on to the ball. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? It's got to be! Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, you have to admire this bit of play. Just look how he runs with the ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. Well, a second goal for them here. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Mazraoui. Here's Berghaus. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened.
almost at half time and nothing really to complain about if you happen to be a Liverpool fan Stuart they've been impressive well they're dominating this first half their approach play their cleverness around the box and the finishing have been excellent they just need to continue this going into the second period veering in field here oh a vital interception well not cleared away completely and that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Promising looking ball. Allaire. Daily Blint. Could play it in. This looks promising. Excellent defending. Aller straight offside, but only just. Fabinho. Alexander Arnold. Henderson. Salah. He's in with a chance. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Fabinho. And Ajax with the ball once more. Can they hit on the break? He's in behind. And still a chance. And a time for calm on the ball. Well, you won't see too many better saves than that. It was just brilliant. Well, now he's let that run out of play. And it will be a throw-in here. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Well, that is annoying for any manager to see your own player giving the ball away from a throw-in. And Mohamed Salah now... But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Liverpool have the ball once more. 30 minutes left for play. Dusan Tadic. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. And breaking at pace with Menace. And Thiago, very quick thinking there. Sebastian Allaire. Masrawi with it. And a chance for him on the flank. Opportunity to deliver the cross. It's with Berghaus. Allaire. Klassen. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Not to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Really classy goalkeeping. Offside. Not that anyone knew. Henderson. Diogo Jota and Ajax recovering possession good tackle taken away space and time for the cross given away by Ajax in 
with a chance. Surely. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Going short. And using his body to good effect. Salah. Well, terrific defending to stop them progressing. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Sebastian Allaire. And moving the ball nicely. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Who can they pick out? And the danger's still on. And in the end, no damage done. Fabinho. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And Mohamed Salah now. Well, the flag has gone up here. Offside it is. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Ten minutes to go. Lisandro Martinez. Klassen. Mazraoui. Tadic has it. Great block. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Klassen. Here's Berghaus. Klassen has it. Well, a pity that. It looked promising, but that's going to be claimed by the keeper. Luis Diaz. And this is Diogo Jota now. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Henderson. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And there the attack ends for now. So full time it is. And a morale boosting three points on the board to begin their European campaign. Yeah, it's so vital to get off to a quick start in these group stages. They'll be happy with the three points, but now they have to back it up in the next game. Six points and you're halfway there. And at the final analysis, a top-level contribution from Diogo Jota. How many times do we say that? The answer is rather a lot. Stuart, what did you make of what he put into the game? Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.